you support any legal limits on how late a woman should be able to terminate a pregnancy? I support it Roe v. Wade. That means he can take the life of the baby in the ninth month and even after birth. That is simply not true. We are not for late-term abortion, period, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, we had the safest border in history. Now we have the worst border in history. There's never been anything like it. There's no data to support what he said. Once again, he's exaggerating. He's lying. And I'm going to continue to move until we get the total ban on the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more border patrol and more uh, asylum officers. President Trump? I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. If a Republican did that, they'd go to Thank jail. Thank you, President Trump. The only person on this stage is a convicted felon is the man I'm looking at right now. But he could be a convicted felon as soon as he gets out of office. He caused the inflation, and it's killing black families and Hispanic families. There was no inflation when I became president. You know why? The economy was flat on its back. 15% unemployment. He decimated the economy. The only one who wants the war to continue is Hamas. We are the biggest pro pro producer of support for Israel of anyone in the world. He said the only one who wants to keep going is Hamas. Actually, Israel is the one, and you should let him go and let him finish the job. The only existential threat to humanity is climate change, and he didn't do a damn thing about it. He wants to undo all that I've done. The Paris Accord was going to cost us a trillion dollars. It was a ripoff of the United States. He never fired people. I've never seen him fire anybody. I did fire a lot. I fired Comey because he was no good. I fired a lot of the top people at the FBI, drained the swamp. They were no good. This guy hasn't fired anybody. He's the worst president in the history of our country. He's destroyed our country. Presidential historians, they've had meetings and they voted. Who's the worst president in American history? One through best to worst. They said he was the worst in all of American history. He will drive us into World War III, and we're closer to World War III than anybody can imagine. President Xi of China, Kim Jong-un of North Korea, uh, all of these, Putin, they don't respect him, and he's going to drive us into World War III. You want to have a war, just let Putin go ahead and take Kiev, make sure they move on, see what happens in Poland, Hungary, and other places along that border. Then you have a war. The only reason I'm here is he's so bad as a president that I'm going to make America great again. We're the envy of the world. Like, name me a single major country president who wouldn't trade places with the United States of America.